welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. This Tuesday is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be more of a quick test Tuesday because today we are testing out a super cheap way to soundproof your setup. And that's just uh, moving blankets, premium moving blankets. <laughs> and if you've ever wondered this before and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, Dang, David, I appreciate you testing this out for me. Go ahead and hit that like button. Maybe the subscribe button. Maybe you just go ahead and comment below. All excellent ways to thank me. And you're welcome. I got a ton of comments from you guys after that video where we talked about mic placement, we talked about how important it is to have the microphone close to your mouth. But the main thing you guys commented on was the fact that I said, this garage studio setup that I film in is not sound treated at all. Because what we hear from YouTube filmmakers all the time is how important it is to sound treat the environment that we're recording in, but I've kind of been able to get away with it just because the microphone is so close to my mouth when I'm recording these videos. This is how close the microphone always is. The camera is just moved back right now. When I move the camera in, it, it just cuts off this microphone so you don't see it in the shot. Today though, I'm gonna see if I can up my audio game just with four moving blankets. They were $17 each at Home Depot. So 17, 34, $68 total for this sound treatment setup that we're gonna do today. A lot of you guys say that I look like Mark Rober, but I don't do math like Mark Rober. I'm a little slow. Okay, today I'm not gonna rig up these blankets permanently. I'm just pretty much gonna kind of hang them up. I'll probably use a lot of gaff tape and get them in the positions that I think they should be. And we're gonna test if it works. If it does work, I might, I might rig up wires or do something more permanent. I might do this as part of my actual setup if it, if it sounds that much better. And to test this setup to see how much difference it's actually making, I have two microphones running. I have my normal boom mic that's very close to my mouth. I don't think you're gonna hear the difference as much on this microphone. I think maybe there might be, I don't know, a three to 5% audio quality increase by adding the moving blankets. But then I have a second microphone that's on this camera, just mounted to the camera. It's, it is, hang on. Okay, the first microphone is, is eight inches from my face and the second microphone is 42 inches from my face. So I think that microphone is the one where we're really gonna hear the difference. Even though there is a difference being made to this microphone, it'll just be harder to hear. Maybe if you put headphones on, you'll hear the difference in this microphone. Okay, first things first, we need an audio sample. This is the room, totally unsound treated. I have a concrete floor, a garage door, there's a wall just about four feet that way, and then obviously a completely untreated ceiling. So here is our baseline audio test, and for that, I have a monologue for you. Mr. Madison, what you've said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> That's one of my favorite monologues ever in a movie. So that's our audio test for today. Okay, how did that sound? How did, how did the mic that's very close to my mouth sound versus the mic that's further away that's on the camera? Again, I think that both, you're gonna hear a little bit of room noise. You're gonna hear a little bit of that echo that is there. But I think on that microphone, you're gonna hear it a lot more. It's gonna be much more pronounced. It's gonna be much more roomy. Okay, now we're gonna add the four blankets and I set up a secondary angle. I'm gonna turn that light on over there too so you can have a, a better lit angle over there. So now we have two angles. This angle over here, you'll actually be able to see where the blankets are gonna go in this setup. Um, and the first one is super simple. First moving blanket is just gonna go on the floor directly beneath my feet because floors, Floors are terrible for reverbing echo, especially since the microphone's face down. Okay, blanket on the floor beneath me, blanket number one. Number two, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna set up my backdrop stands right behind the camera, and then I'm gonna hang the blanket over it and then probably just clip it somehow, so. This is just a backdrop stand that you would know, oh, that's the wrong piece. This is just a backdrop stand that I would normally put like a paper roll backdrop on uh, behind behind my subject, pole with two, two light stands. Oh, 
Okay, I have those two stands in place and I picked up a bunch more of these clamps and I'm just gonna clamp the moving blanket over, over the stand. Okay, super sit, whoa. Wow, just by doing that, I can audibly hear a difference just in the room. Like I feel like the room, it got smaller. So just the blanket on the floor and the blanket right behind the camera, I can hear a big difference just here. Okay, I'm gonna add one more blanket over here and then one more blanket on this side to see if I can make it even quieter. For these two blankets, I'm, I'm just using gaff tape. Okay, whoa, whoa. Oh, it sounds so much different in here. It already sounds way different in here. Ha <laughs> crazy. Okay, one more. Whoa, okay, that one might actually be in the shot when I, even when I pull in, but again, this is a temporary setup. I would not have them normally like this, but it sounds so much different in here right now, just hearing my own voice. It sounds like when you go into a closet to record audio and you go, oh, it is very quiet in here. Hello, echo. Wow, that has been reduced significantly. Okay, here is that monologue again. <clears throat> Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, how did that sound? I'm, I'm guessing that with this microphone, there was a small difference, not super, super significant, but with that microphone, I think that you're really gonna hear the difference. I'm gonna, I'll play them side by side right now. Mr. Madison. What you've said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I've ever heard. Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. And and again, I think on this microphone, maybe three to five percent difference, but this this does definitely have me thinking of hanging these in a semi-permanent fashion. Maybe something with grommets and hooks that I could just throw up right before I record because this sounds way better in here. Just the room sounds better. Let me know what you guys think though. This was a quick test Tuesday, so it's it's really for you guys to decide. Should I hang these blankets at all times, every time I record, create some sort of hook and grommet system so I can just throw them up, take them back down, uh, or does it not matter? Also, when you comment that, when you tell me if it matters or not, tell me how you're listening to this. Are you just listening on your phone speakers? Do you have headphones in? Do you have high quality, like, like studio style headphones? Is that what you're listening on? Because Again, I think on this kind of thing, you're gonna hear more of a difference. And then if you're just listening on your phone, you might not hear so much of a difference. Again though, this it looks ridiculous right now because this is such a, such a quick setup. But here it is. There's my, my one blanket behind the camera. I wish that it even went over further. This blanket would go over further if the boom wasn't there. So maybe if I put the boom on the other side, I could run that further. And then this blanket is just on the wall and then and then just one at the floor. It's not that crazy. It was 68 bucks and potentially made a big difference in sound. Again, I haven't listened to it. These are all my guesses. So let me know what you guys think. This is Quick Test Tuesday. It's a quick tip also, because you should do something like this. Like you should soundproof things, but I haven't again, because the mic is so close to my mouth. It hasn't made a huge difference, but but maybe, maybe I listen to this afterwards and I go, holy cow, I always need blankets in the room. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you tomorrow to talk about why my desk looks like this. It'll make a lot more sense tomorrow. Oh, shoot, that one. Haha. <laughs>